Ah, the time has arrived. 2019 is set to be a huge year for motorcycles, don't you know? We've got the new Ducati Panigale V4 coming out, BMW's revised s 1000 rr Let's take a moment to give a quick RIP to the asymmetrical headlights. Press F to pay respects, my dudes. And Aprilia is coming for Italian superbike supremacy by giving the RSV4 some roids to pump up those rookie numbers. In a world of winglets for homologation racing for WSBK, us mere mortals are truly lucky to live in a time where you get to go to your local Ducati dealership and choose between several models of motorcycles with over 200 horsepower. It's in that spirit of abundance and advancement of massive power gains that today we are going to look at the top 10 most powerful production motorcycles for 2019. And stick around for number one because it just might surprise you. I am your host for today's countdown, the intimate, sensitive, and rowdy, gummy dude, clammy tube, yammy noob, back once again to deliver unto you little urchins the two-wheeled content that you simply cannot live without. Before we begin though, you're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I'd hate for you to miss out on all the sweet, sweet content we're putting out here at Yammy Noob. Rumor has it we're cranking out four videos a week. Let's bless our editors a little as they've been trapped in a dungeon cranking away at these videos. Drop a comment below letting me know which one of these motorcycles we're going to feature in today's video is your favorite, and I know which one is mine. As a quick side note, today's video is sponsored by Filmora by Wondershare. Filmora is a video editing software that's going to allow anybody with any level of experience to create effective edits and is packed with a whole host of powerful features. It's got 4K video support, color tuning, and the ability to quickly layer videos so you can get started making all the content you need. Personally, I am an Adobe Premiere user and have used it for years, but I gave Filmora a shot and I found it incredibly easy to use. They just released version 9.0 of the software and it's chock full of features. Filmora is free to try out with zero risk, so you can get started without putting any money down. So if you're interested in editing your own videos to compete with your sweet yam, you will never defeat me, nothing can kill me, that's a fact. Click the link below to get started. All right, without any further ado, let's begin this countdown from the least powerful to the most big dick energy superbike the world has to offer. Starting off our list, we have number 10, the Kawasaki ZX-10R SE. Ah, the ZX-10. Often thought as the big green monster in the room, the Kawi was looking pretty good a few years ago when 200 horsepower was the benchmark to clear. With a claimed power rating of 197.2 horsepower, Horsepower, it makes its way as the least powerful bike on our list today, which is mind boggling to think, but hey, that's the world we live in. A few features the lime green bike has going for it, though, is its fancy 43mm Showa balance free fork derived from the WSBK race bike with an external compression chamber, a feature that didn't really catch on with a whole lot of other bikes, to be honest. That's race bike technology brought straight to the street. That's a trend we're going to see a lot of in this video. It's got an electronics package, which was heavily revised for 2016, a quick shifter, which just about every bike on this list have, so that's not a unique feature, and an Olin's electronic steering adapter. An important thing to note is the Cowie does not have any semi-active or active suspension components like the other bikes we're going to see on this list, so that's a major detractor. But let's get a quick sound check on this bad boy. <laughs> Strangely enough, the Catway can be bought with or without ABS as the model, but for the purposes of this one, the ABS is going to come in at $16,099, which means you're paying about $81.64 per horsepower on this one. Moving on to the next bike on our list. Number 9, the Yamaha YZF R1M. The R1 is already an extremely capable bike, having proven itself on racetracks throughout the world and being a leader in WSBK, even if Cowie is doing a little bit better than them this year. It comes in at 197.2 horsepower, exactly the same as the Cowie. So why'd you place the Cowie in last place? I think this slimy noob guy's a little bit biased for sure. The R1M is a carbon fiber having, cross plane ripping monster, and yet in today's crop of leader bikes, that's only going to get you into second to last place. So what else is this bike? Have going for it. Well, it comes with an electronic Olin suspension like a true patrician bike should, and the R1 was the first bike to feature a six axis IMU on a road going bike, even though that's not a new feature anymore. But it's definitely an OG, and in 2019, it's starting to look a little long in the tooth. At least it still sounds the absolute business. <laughs> The Yamaha R1M is going to run you $22,999, giving it a much less favorable $116 per horsepower ratio. Is the Cowie the better bike? Wait till the end and we'll find out, won't we? Up next is another one from Japan. 
Number eight, the Suzuki GSX-R 1000. Ah, the Suzaki 1000, the OG squid missile. The GSX-R gets a bad rap for having some dude with flip-flops and a tank top riding it, but here it is on top of the R1M and the Cowie. The GSX-R puts out a claimed 199.2 horsepower. That's a whole two horsepower more than the R1, making it exactly 1% better, obviously. Another thing the Suzuki has going for it is an incredibly amenable price. This missile comes in at 15,099 bucks, making it one of the cheapest ways to go fast on a brand new machine. God, motorcycles are awesome. Like the Cowie, you can also pick up this bad boy with or without ABS, but when ABS is only 500 bucks more, why wouldn't you get that? Cool thing is that it also comes with balance-free forks and an external gas chamber, just like the Cowie now. It's also going to come with the standard electronics package and the IMU like the other Japanese variants, but without any active electronic suspension. That's starting to look a little old in 2019 as well. But let's get a quick sound check while we're here. <laughs> The Suzuki has an impressive $73.79 per horsepower ratio, making it one of the best bargains here, but when you're shopping for a super bike, I don't think you're really trying to optimize for dollars, are you? Moving on to our next bike, and this one's going to surprise you a little bit, number 7, the Kawasaki H2. Yes, that's correct, the mighty supercharged H2 came in 7th on this list. In case you're unfamiliar, this is the world's only supercharged motorcycle. That's right, this is a 998cc supercharged 4-cylinder bike, making 202 horsepower from factory and an absolute metric buttload of torque. The H2 is a monster from the factory, but without opening it up and modifying a little, it marks its place as 7th on our list of the most powerful bikes of 2019. Keep in mind the H2 is not built as a track carving lightweight weapon of a bike, but it's rather built in the spirit of the Japanese Open Unlimited class, encompassing bikes like the Hayabusa or the Blackbird of days past, and others. Well, let's get a quick soundtrack for what 202 supercharged horsepower sounds like. Now, what's all that power gonna run you? Well, a new H2's MSRP is about 28,000 bucks, which honestly is less than I thought. I've actually never looked into what they cost since I was never really too interested in this bike myself. I'm more of a turbo boosted guy myself, as you all know. And that gives the H2 a $138.55 per horsepower ratio. We're starting to rack that number up, huh boys? Moving on to the sixth most powerful bike for 2019, number six, the 2019 BMW S1000 RR. In case you live under a rock, BMW has announced an all new version of the S1000 RR, the beloved bike that started the superbike technological race. You have to keep in mind, back in 2009 when BMW launched this bike, the superbike world was floored. It was the undisputed king. Well, other manufacturers have caught up and BMW has taken notice. They are coming out swinging for 2019 and giving the bike all the technology, power, and features it can throw at it to make it once again the undisputed king of the superbikes. With 207 horsepower from the factory, mamma mia, that's a spicy superbike. Now, since it's not out yet, we couldn't get any actual sound clips of it, but here's a last gen S1000 RR so you can get a feel for it. <laughs> One of the coolest new features on this bike is the shift cam technology. It's the variable valve timing system introduced on the redesigned 2019 BMW R1250GS that employs a camshaft with two different lobes manipulating each of the eight intake valves. Applied to the S1000RR, the system utilizes partial load lobes below 9000 RPM to boost engine torque while also reducing excess mechanical noise and increasing engine efficiency. So they've done the seemingly impossible task of boosting low end torque while also increasing top end power. Hats off! The 2019 BMW S1000 RR is probably going to run you about 25 grand, roughly, uh, since they have a couple different packages you can add on and a range to choose from. That's the number we're going to run with, giving it $120.77 to horsepower ratio. Better than the H2 for sure. The BMW is sure to be competitive and may make its way to the top of the pack in 2019, but we need to keep this rolling and check out the next bike on our list. Number 5, the BMW HP4 Race. Two BMWs back to back, how weird. The BMW HP4 race is a handmade, all carbon race bike that's the stuff dreams are made of. While most people think it's just an S1000RR with some race fairings, they'd be dead wrong. With a dry weight of just 322 pounds and an extremely limited production run, this is one special bike. With a claimed power output of 215 horsepower, it's an absolute beast considering how light it is. An all carbon handmade bike is surely going to set you back a few dollars, and you'd be right, the BMW HP4 comes priced at 78 
$1,000, which makes it $362.79 for every horsepower, which is nearly three times the ratio of the standard s 1000 R. When you consider how painstakingly precise and handcrafted this thing is, it's definitely worth it. Here's a sound check. And you're gonna have to have some deep pockets to pull off owning the HP4, but if you're one of the lucky few, ride that thing like you stole it. Moving on to the fourth most powerful motorcycle on our list for 2019. Number four, the 2019 Aprilia RSV4 RF. Aprilia really went and did it with this one. They ain't holding back. They heard that Italy's other favorite motorcycle manufacturer was coming out with some new red hot thing, and they weren't having it. Aprilia makes one of the best fire-breathing V4s known to man in the form of the RSV4. And for 2019, their RF edition is gonna be an 1100cc, 217 horsepower monster with, you guessed it, the winglets. 217 horsepower is pretty unreal. Let's get a sound check of what the RSV4 sounds like. Now, since this bike isn't out yet, we had to use a previous edition of the RSV4, and we don't have price figures on these monsters yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and ballpark it around 30,000 bucks, which places it with $138.25 per horsepower figure. Not too shabby from Italy. The RSV4 RF is gonna be insanely competitive when it comes to WSBK and for track bikes all around the world. And with a set of Olins at the front, the TTX with the piggyback system in the rear, you know this bike is gonna be flickable and fast. But somehow, 217 horsepower from the factory doesn't get you first place in 2019. So let's move on to the third most powerful production bike. Number three, the Ducati Panigale V4R. Guys, Ducati has brought the heat. The V4R is a certified winglet having monster and Italy's finest has brought a massive amount of power to the table. The Ducati Panigale V4R, or as I like to call it, the Derpcati Pringle, has a mind-blowing 221 horsepower. And if you equip it with the race kit, it's gonna put out 230 34 horsepower. Guys, that's a bike from the factory with a warranty that you can put a license plate on. Let that sink in. Now the unfortunate thing is it does not come with any biscottis as standard, so Ducati boys will have to find another outlet to get their crunch on. And if you're curious, it sounds as crazy as you might think, even if we have limited sounds of what it's gonna be like. The V4R is going to be sold for the measly sum of $40,000, which is a bargain for the level of performance you're gonna get. You can annihilate about 99.999% of motorized vehicles with one of these bad boys, all for the price of a new-ish Mercedes. But that's only good enough for number three on this list. Up next is our second most powerful motorcycle. Number two, the Kawasaki H2R. Even though Kawasaki has made a limited run of these and they aren't technically road legal, the H2R is still one of the most powerful production motorcycles ever made. If you're curious, it's an upmarket version of the H2 with gobs more power, a full exhaust system, updated suspension components, and an absolute metric buttload of power. 305.8 to be exact. Yes, that's correct. Kawasaki equipped this thing with 305 mind-bending horsepower. With carbon fiber all over this thing, upgraded suspension components, it's truly one of the most powerful production bikes of 2019. And if you're curious as to what that sounds like, well, wonder no more. <laughs> Now the H2R is gonna set you back a pretty penny at $55,000, and I don't think Kawasaki is taking orders for them anymore. That places it at $180 per horsepower, and that's a steep price of admission. Anyways, the H2R is an absolute beast, but it's not number one on our list. That honor goes to number one, the Ghost Riders Turbo Busa. And in typical yammy fashion, and a complete cop out, the number one bike on this list is a mother Turbo Busa. That's right. It's not a production bike. It's not a bike you can go buy, but I don't even care. Be mad. The Turbo Boosa is the GOAT because them Boosa boys are out here and you can't stop them. The Ghost Rider is a famous squid over in Europe who's known for ripping massive wheelies and flouncing the law. Here's a few clips of him. The Ghost Rider's Turbo Boost is estimated to produce about 500 horsepower and costs, I don't know, like $100,000, who cares? I made you watch this entire video and I listed a Turbo Boost at the end. Sorry, I had to do it to him. In all seriousness, the H2R takes the title for the most powerful production motorcycle in 2019. Congrats to Cowie to being both number 10 and number one. That averages out to somewhere in the middle, just like all Kawasaki's. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. What do you think? Which one of these awesome machines would you get? Me personally, I would totally rock an RSV4 RF. I'm not even 
even gonna lie. The Aprilia has my heart. It's just so juicy. Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, be sure to check out our motorcycle giveaway. That's right, we're giving away a free motorcycle. Check the link in the description to learn more. It's gonna be rad. I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Fact. Post-death, Napoleon Bonaparte's penis was removed from his body during autopsy, displayed on a museum, and sold for $2,700 in the 1970s. Goodbye.